welcome all uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, fragmentation this fragmentation can be of is of two types one is internal fragmentation and the second one is external fragmentation Now let us try to understand uh, first the internal fragmentation. In order to understand this, let us try to understand or let us uh, take up uh, an example. Now I will be considering, uh, let me assume that uh, there are three processes. called as uh, P1, P2 and P3. So let me assume that P1 requires 10 KB of uh, memory space, P2 requires 20 KB and P3 requires 40 KB. So if I assume that and this is the main memory Then let me assume that there are three blocks. Let me assume that this is the uh, fixed size uh, partition. So the size of the memory is uh, 100k or 100 kilobyte. So P1 is allotted this space and this space is free and at the same time P2 is allotted here and this space is free and P3 is allotted here and this space is free. Now the internal fragmentation states that this much amount of memory is given to P1 but the P1 is not utilizing the entire memory space given to it. So therefore the memory or this shaded memory is part of P1 but the p1 is not utilizing this memory this process or phenomena we call it as internal fragmentation so how do you define this the process is allotted the process is allotted the memory but the process is not using it. This phenomena is called as internal fragmentation. Now let us try to uh, examine what is this external fragmentation. Now let me again uh, go with an example. In this case let me assume that there are four process. Process P1 requires 10k. Process P2 requires 20k and process P3 requires 40k and process P4 requires around 50k. So again we will have the uh, same uh, memory representation. So here it's again it starts with 0 to 100kb. Let me assume that this is the main memory. Again, let me assume that three partitions P1 is used here, P2 is used here, and P3 is used here. This much space is free, and this much space is free, and this much space is free. Now, currently, there are three processes running in the main memory. Now, P4 process requires 50 KB. 
so let us assume that this memory as well as this memory and this memory if is enough for this p4 to be executed but it cannot be allotted why because these memories are not contiguous in nature the definition of external uh, fragmentation is given like this that is this external fragmentation exists when there is enough total memory space total memory space to satisfy a request but the available spaces are not contiguous this phenomena we call it as external fragmentation so these are the things that you have to remember in fragmentation thank you